Hello, my name is Carl Van, President and CEO of International Insurance Institute, and I'm delighted to be able to present our fourth online training program in the series called Critical Thinking for Claims Professionals. What we'll be doing is we'll be talking about what critical thinking is and how to apply that to claim scenarios. One thing critical thinking is not, it's not being right all of the time. Critical thinking has more to do with the process that we use to come to the right answer. Anyone who handles claims knows that you can't always be right, but you can take the steps necessary to work through a problem so you can come to the best answer given the information that you have. And that's what critical thinking really is. For us in claims, it means thinking things through enough where we can guess at the right answer. If we're wrong, we're wrong. But at least we've taken the steps to get to the right answer. Number one, it's called making things too simple. It's a pitfall of critical thinking and what that means is that we make a statement or someone makes a statement to us that's so simplistic it actually becomes inaccurate. So an example might be someone says to you, well we have to put all this information in the closed caption reports because the underwriting executives just want to know everything. That's a little simplistic. The best way to respond to non-critical thinking error like that would be to provide evidence for a more complicated answer. Something along the lines of, well, I doubt they ask us to do this just because they're nosy. I've seen it where they use this information to actually analyze coverage and future policies. Okay, well for all of these pitfalls, it helps if we have a demonstration. So we've solicited the help of our own script consultant, Laura Wimsett, who's going to play the customer in all of these scenarios that you're going to have to try to solve. You ready, Laura? Sure. All right. Okay, so the first one we're going to start off with is where someone makes things too simple. All right? So Laura says to me... Oh, you claims guys deny everything. Okay, well, I didn't really have an answer for her, right? Given what we talked about, the best way to respond when people make a comment that is so simple it actually becomes inaccurate, what's the best way to deal with it? Well, the best way to deal with it is to simply and politely let them know that perhaps there's a more complicated answer. So, what would you say in response to that comment? Go ahead. Did you come up with a good answer? My suggestion would be, you know Ms. Wimsett, I understand you feel like we just want to deny everything. Actually, our job in claims is to analyze coverage on an individual basis to make sure that you actually get everything you're entitled to. That's what we're really trying to accomplish. We want to be able to point out the error in logic, but remember, we're also in the customer service business. Mm -hmm.